Hi, I'm Bo from Lunchbox Dad, and this is my daughter, Abby. Today we're going to be doing a science project. Tell us about what we're going to be making. We're going to make a solar powered oven out of a pizza box. We found all the instructions for today's project, as well as a ton of other projects at sciencefaircentral.com. And you can get all your supplies from Home Depot. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's get going. All right. You can find all the supplies at sciencefaircentral.com. For this video, we used a utility knife and some scissors, as well as some masking tape. You'll probably want some black duct tape as well, along with aluminum foil tape and whatever school glue you have laying around. You will also need some plastic wrap, some reflective insulation, and aluminum foil. Make sure to pick out your favorite marshmallows. Those are gonna go on a paper plate, and you'll also need some black construction paper. Did you know that John Herschel, a British astronomer, used a thermal energy box to cook food on a South African expedition in the 1830s? To start, draw out your design on a piece of paper and then use a ruler and marker to draw three straight lines on the top of a pizza box. Then use a utility knife to cut along those three straight lines and fold up along the fourth side to create a flap in the top of the pizza box. Cut two pieces of foil to fit the bottom of the pizza box. Foil makes really good insulation and will help keep the heat in. Tape the foil to the sides of the pizza box using black duct tape or silver aluminum foil tape. Next, take two pieces of black construction paper and glue them to the bottom of the pizza box. In place of glue, you could also use black duct tape. We use black construction paper because it's going to absorb the heat from the sun the best. Time for another fun fact. Did you know it takes approximately 8 minutes for the sunlight to reach the earth? For this next step, cut a square of reflective insulation that will completely cover the inside flap of the pizza box that you cut in a previous step. You can attach the reflective insulation to the flap of the pizza box using tape or glue. This reflective insulation will actually reflect the sun's rays from the lid of the pizza box to the inside of the pizza box, warming it up and warming up your food. Next, cut two pieces of plastic wrap big enough to cover the hole in the pizza box. Tape one piece of plastic wrap over the hole on the inside of the pizza box. Now use the second piece of plastic wrap to do the same thing on the outside of the pizza box. Make sure the plastic wrap is nice and tight. This will make sure the heat stays in. Here's another fun fact. Did you know that the sun is the Earth's most abundant energy resource and it's free? You're almost done. Cut a paper plate just the right size to fit the marshmallows you'll be eating. Okay, we tested it out and the marshmallows fit inside. Everything looks like it's gonna work. So we are gonna head outside and actually preheat the oven now. Leave it outside for about 30 minutes to try and get it. the temperatures inside the box pretty hot. We found that taping a reusable straw, stick, or ruler to the flap of the box can help give you just the right angle you want to reflect the sun's rays down into the pizza box. All right, so it's been out here for about 20 minutes and it's already up to 113 degrees, so it still has a little bit of time to go before we try and melt a marshmallow in there, um, but it's making good progress. All right, let's put the marshmallows in. Make sure and seal that up nice and tight, and it's ready to go. After preheating the solar oven for 40 minutes, we cooked the marshmallows for about 30 minutes till they were nice and gooey. All right, let's make those s'mores. Yep. All right, take our solar baked marshmallows, some of our favorite chocolate. I'm gonna use a little of each. All right, now that we've finished the project, if we had to do this all over again, what would you do to improve the design? I think um, if we used a different type of tape to trap in the heat more, I think the marshmallows would be more fluffy when we... A little bit more melty yeah. on the s'mores. Okay, so like maybe around the edges, we if we could find a way where it could be maybe reusable, like, in, uh, like insulation tape or something like uh -huh. that, where it would keep the heat in more. Um, maybe some of it escaped around the cracks out here. So if there was a way like almost like a Velcro or something yeah. maybe I think also if we were maybe able to capture the sunlight a little bit more um, I think that's one thing that we struggled with a little bit It was a little bit of a challenge to kind of get the right angle and then as the Sun's moving Kind of keep the right angle on yeah. there. So we learned lots today. We hope you did too We're gonna go enjoy our s'mores, but we hope we inspired you to go pick up some of these easy to find supplies 
and go make your own solar oven experiment at home.